All right, I'm actually excited for once. This is my brand new Rigol DP832 power supply. <clears throat> I've needed one of these for a while. Um, and this is basically um, one of the one of the last pieces of equipment that I feel like I need before I'm done setting up all my all my stuff. Uh, maybe I'll never always, you know, I'll always never be done. But anyways, um, I plugged it in. I haven't even turned it on. This is brand new. Um, I plan to uh, do some mods, some software mods to this to basically change it from a DP832 to a DP832A. And I'll probably just put an A on there. <laughs> But uh, right now, uh, it should be monochrome. Let's see. I'm going to turn it on. Boot up. There it is. Got the green monochrome. I don't even know like how to, how to use this, really. It's going to be fun finding out. Uh, let me see if I can set the voltage um, to 20. Okay. 20. And then just turn it on. 20 volts. There it is. Um, okay. Well, um, yeah. I'm going to go look up all the software mods and then get it set up and uh then i'll come back okay so this hack seems to be pretty easy what i've done is i've gone to the rigel website i've got the ultra sigma software for the dp800 series downloaded it i got the rigel key um zip file that has the the image file in it um that i wrote to a usb thumb drive with uh disk imager um also, uh, I wanted to mention that I I followed the video from Elecafun or Elecafun, Elecafun, I don't know how he wants to pronounce that, but uh, that's a video I used to uh, figure out how to do this. Anyways, um, it should be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy, straightforward, so let's see. Um, I have an Ethernet cable plugged in. I wish I had a longer one right now, but anyways, uh, powered up. I should be able to get to the IP address. Hopefully that works. Okay, so utility, uh, IO config. Hold on, make sure this is in frame. Um, that's what I feared is before you upgrade it, how the LAN doesn't work. So how can you get an IP address? And that was in the that was in the steps, so, huh, okay, yeah, yeah, land's connected, but you can't use it, because that's part of upgrading it, so, hmm, okay, uh, let me, let me plug in the USB, see if it changes anything, I don't think so, I assume I have to connect to it a different way, through, uh, serial, through the COM port, or through USB, Hopefully just USB. I mean, that's not going to just enable LAN. Yeah. Yeah, see? LAN uninstalled. RS-232 uninstalled trigger. So, USB? Uh, but that wasn't mentioned in the, in the video, unfortunately. Okay, so I'll be back when I figure this out. All right, so I've copied this command right here, and um, I also ran the Sigma software, plugged in USB, and it just popped up right away. So right-click on it, uh, SCPI panel, overwrite this command, paste in there, send command. Okay, it says it's set to DP832A. And I should just turn it off and on. So let's see. Let's come over here. Turn it off. Back on. Things should be colored. Yeah, right away. Color screen. 
that has to be the easiest hack. So there's another thing I want to do though is I I, I want to get it back to the normal uh, three channel uh, vertical display. I don't think I like this weird circular thing, like pie chart type thing. Um, but let's just check some of the settings now. Make sure they're all changed. So IO config LAN. There's LAN right there. Got an IP address. Cool. Um, sysinfo. Well, it says it's a DPA 32A. Option. Oh, there it is. Boom. High resolution official analyzer. All this stuff is in there. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to change the screen. Uh, I don't know if it's just an option in here if you have to actually flash something back. Display mode. Normal. Waveform. Dial. Classic. Is that... Where's, is there a back? There is a back button. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, just go display or utility. Oh, there it is. Easiest hack ever. 30 volts on. 30 volts. Totally worth it. Alright, now I'm going to have some fun with this.